you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on six ways that you can bring down your drum set volume. Now fellow drummers, if you've been playing drums for any amount of time at all, I'm sure you've heard someone say to you, man your drums are so loud, everything's so loud, they put their hands over their ears and they're going, ah oh, the drums are so loud. The first thing you can do to bring down your drum set volume doesn't cost you a thing. And that is to just not play so hard, play quieter, play with more dynamics and more feel. Now that may sound easier said than done, but this is your instrument and you have to be responsible with your instrument in whatever surrounding you're in. Say you're playing on a house of worship setting on a church on Sunday morning. You know, you're not going to be able to bash on your drums as hard as you would as if you were playing at a club on a Friday night with your rock band. So you have to fit into your situation and that's what makes a musician a musician, is to be able to adapt to whatever situation you're in. The second thing you can do to bring down your drum set volume a little bit is to play with a lighter drumstick. Now for me, for many, many years now, I've been playing with the drumstick, which is a 55A. That is in between size-wise to a 5A and a 5B. It's got a diameter of a 580, 0 .580 of an inch. So I can play rock, I can play jazz, I can play all kinds of different stuff with this stick. Here I have something by Vic Firth called an HD4. And I picked this particular stick because it was the smallest one I could find in diameter. This particular stick has a 0.530 of an inch diameter, which is pretty small, and a small little barrel tip. So I can play much lighter with these drumsticks. Let me show you right now. Now playing with lighter sticks doesn't mean you're going to be totally quiet, like you barely audible. You could still play with volume. It's just, you know, lighter drumsticks have less mass than thicker drumsticks. Now let's get to the third thing you can do. And that is playing with dowel sticks or hot rods. They have many different names. Dowel sticks come in many shapes, many sizes, and you just have to find the ones that are going to fit your particular situation. Number four on the list today for bringing down the volume of your drum kit is to manipulate your drum heads. What do I mean by that? Using things like moon gel or a really good option are rings like this from Remo. There are other options out there as well, but these are really cool because they deaden up the head and bring down the volume a lot. The rings will take away the decay of the drum and they'll also take away a little bit of the attack of the stick hitting the head. You get a nice distinct sound from every drum, which can be a really cool thing. And the volume is less as well. All right, so now we're going to move on to the fifth thing you can do, and that is to actually change out your cymbals. Cymbal companies these days are giving us a great selection of cymbals that are really dark and dry and have really quick decay. And they're making these cymbals for a number of different reasons. Great for jazz music. Great for recording all kinds of different things, great effecty sounds. I'm a huge fan of dark and dry cymbals. And in all of that, they also bring the volume level down, which is what we're talking about here today. So let me tell you what I set up here. I have some really cool cymbals. From Meinl, I have some Byzant Series Extra Dry cymbals. So on the hats, I have a set of 14 inch medium hi hats, Extra Dry Series, 20 inch Extra Dry Medium Ride, I have an 18 inch extra dry thin crash and for the china over here on my right is an 18 inch extra dry china symbol. The other two crashes I have here are new to me but really cool symbols. They are Sabian XS20 DB control crash crash symbols. I have an 18 inch on my right and a 16 inch on my left specifically made to bring down the volume level. So let me play all of these symbols here with my tiny Vic Firth HD4 small drumsticks and show you what I mean.
These cymbals are actually really fun to play because they have a really cool, distinct sound and they're quieter. So you get kind of the best of both worlds. Now we're going to get into the sixth way that you can bring down the volume of your drum kit, and that is, dare I say, the dreaded drum shield. All right, so here we are, the drum shield. And I say dreaded drum shield because, let's be honest, most drummers do not like to be playing behind the drum shield. But you have to realize, again, that you have to play to the situation you're in, and sometimes drum shields are a necessary evil, but they actually do a really good thing, too. So. I'm going to play like I played at the very beginning of this video. I do have the drier, darker cymbals on, so I'm not going to change those out, but I have my regular sticks back, and I'm going to hit really hard, and we'll see the difference in dB level with just the drum shield in front of the drum kit like this. So as you can see there, I was playing really hard, bashing on the cymbals and hitting the snare drum nice and hard and the dB level was definitely a lot less than when I didn't have the shield in front of me. This shield is made by a company called Clear Sonic and they make shields in all kinds of different sizes. This one is actually six panels in front of me. I'm going to play again with the same shield in front of me, a little bit quieter where I don't have to hit so hard, more of a typical song situation. Now, if you play with this plexiglass and smaller sticks, the drier cymbals, dowel sticks, you manipulate your drum heads, it's going to get even quieter still. All right, now let's go all the way and let me show you how you can really make your drums a lot quieter. All right, here you go. This is the Clear Sonic Isopack B plexiglass with a ceiling and the sober panels behind me all the way around and a few sober panels at the bottom of the kit. So let's see where the dB level is now with all this surrounding me. Okay, there you go. The drum level was quite a bit less. And there's also some added benefits you get with having the drums isolated like this. It's almost like being in a little recording studio. The cymbals, the snare drum, the high-end parts of the drum kit will not be bleeding into the vocalist microphone. It's, if you have a horn section on stage, you'll be able to keep the drums out of those microphones as well. So that's a really good thing. And there you have it. Six different ways to help you bring down the volume of your drum kit. I definitely encourage you to check out any or all of these solutions. Make up your own solution if you want to as well. And if you have any questions or if you want any more information about any of the products you saw me play on this video here, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching.